Ooh. Computer, turn on coffee. Computer, turn on desk. Computer, turn on TV. Turn on ghost neon. Turn on stereo. Computer, power on. Okay, so one of the most frequently asked questions I get is how do I power on my studio? How do I control things with my voice? What sorcery or magic are you using to do this? Is it real or is it a trick of the camera? It's totally real. It's not a trick of the camera. This is actually happening. I'm actually controlling my studio with my voice. How, you may ask? Boom, these things right here. So what is it? What does it do? How does it work? Super simple. This little gadget here is one of the most basic things you can buy to start bringing your space into the future. All it is, is a smart switch. It basically turns on or turns off whatever you have plugged into it. It connects via Wi-Fi, you control it through an app, and then you can use a Google Home or Amazon Alexa for voice control to control these things. So these are the little secret weapon and what I use to basically power on the majority of devices in my studio here that don't have smart capabilities natively built in. So I have this Edison light bulb here to show you as an example. When we plug it in, it turns on, right? So any device you have, this light bulb could be any device, as long as it is able to power on uh, as soon as you plug it in, that's how you know you'll be able to use a smart switch. So for example, if we now plug in our smart switch into our outlet here, and now we're gonna plug our Edison bulb into the smart switch. So boom, the Edison bulb is now plugged into the smart switch. Now we can control this switch with the Smart Life app on our phone, just like that, just turn it on. What's really cool about this is that it'll work anywhere in the world. You don't have to be connected to your home Wi-Fi uh, if you wanna control it with your phone via the Smart Life app. Now, I know the title says control any device with your voice. So, if we wanna take it one step further, we get an Amazon Alexa or a Google Home and we add that into the mix. So this right here is an Echo Dot. Basically this Echo Dot will run Alexa and we can give voice commands to the Echo Dot and that'll trigger Alexa to perform the command. I've changed my wake up word to computer. So you'll see when I say the wake up word, it triggers the Echo Dot and it's listening for a command. I've named the smart switch Edison ball right here so when we say, computer, turn on Edison ball, it's gonna trigger the switch to power on, which our device is gonna then turn on. So you can, again, connect this to any device, which will turn on as soon as it gets power. But Julian, what if the device you're trying to control doesn't turn on when you plug it in, or there's no physical or hard switches that can make it turn on as soon as we plug it in or provide power. So if you have a device like this levitating moon lamp here, which when you turn off the power or you cut the power, something like that happens, this is where the smart switches won't work. Luckily, if the device you're trying to control has an infrared remote, we can still control it with our voice with one of these things. So it'll record the signal and then we can connect this to Wi-Fi and control it with our Amazon Alexa or Google Home. I'll give you a demo real quick. The moon lamp has a remote. Because the moon lamp has a separate on and off switch, we're gonna program both of those into the universal remote. 
So we're gonna hit the off switch now. It's gonna record the signal. Got it. So now that our remote, our Wi-Fi remote here has learned the functions, you can see I can use my phone now to turn it on or off. So we're gonna send an on signal and it turns the moon lamp on. I'm gonna send that off signal that I programmed it to learn and it just sent an off signal. So that's using my phone, but if I wanna use my voice, our Echo Dot running the Alexa is talking to our universal remote so I can use voice command to trigger those remote signals. Computer, moon lamp on. And there you have it. Okay, so. Let me turn this thing around actually. All right, let's get some light going here. Well, I just noticed my hair is doing some crazy stuff. Okay, so just a few extra things to mention. Using that method we just saw, you can pretty much program any remote. So any device that has a remote, think about all the possibilities. You can you can program your whole TV remote in there and you know control it with voice command. Some cameras have infrared remotes you can buy. You can use that to voice command your camera now if you, you program it all in there. So pretty much anything with a remote, this opens up voice control with Alexa or Google Home with our universal smart remote hub. So another thing I should mention is from the smart switches and the smart remote, we can also set timers so we can make our devices come on or shut off at any time using the timer functions in the apps as well. This opens up a whole world of possibilities and control for your devices. You can, you can almost connect anything, any device. Of course, it has to fall into the three categories of being, can it be controlled by simply providing power some way? And if it can, then a smart switch would do the trick. If it can't, but it has an infrared remote, then we can, you know, program it uh, into our smart home that way or it has to natively have an inbuilt smart functionality. So most devices are gonna fall into one of those three categories to be able to automate it um, and control it with our voice, set timers, do good stuff like that. So that's a really first solid lesson if you're looking to get into smart home or you're intrigued by this idea of voice control or setting timers. I provided links below to the things we've talked about if you wanna start automating devices in your own space. And I think that'll do it for today's hot tip. Stay fresh.